When I started in graduate school, I had never had a professor who was a woman. I was starved to see women who were scientists. Every time a woman would come and give a seminar, I would watch her the way a dog watches food. I wanted to see what she was wearing. I wanted to see how she presented herself. I wanted to see what work she was doing to help be a model for me. Science is the most wonderful thing to do that I can imagine, but it's also extremely frustrating. Most of the time, things don't work. If you're trying to do something that's never been done before, chances are it's not going to be that easy to do. And I think we really need to encourage young women to think that they can be scientists. I think that understanding the brain and understanding how the mind works and how human perception and thought work is one of the great topics of human inquiry. It includes philosophy, it includes literature, it includes art, it includes psychology. I think brain scientists are just one more group of people trying to view this fascinating problem of being human from yet another perspective. I was born in 1961, and the week of my eighth birthday, a man landed on the moon for the first time. And I can't tell you how exciting that was as a child to realize through the space program that we could reach the stars. We are now exploring inner space instead of outer space. We're trying to understand the incredible complexity of our own minds. And I think it's as exciting as the space program was in its time. The goal of the Brain Initiative is to say first, let's not just study each disease one at a time and try to figure that disease out. Let's try to figure out how the whole brain works. Let's figure out what the brain is supposed to do, how it works normally, and then use that information to help repair it when things go wrong. We have a huge medical need for a better understanding of the brain. One out of every three people will suffer from a serious brain disorder at some point in their lives. And what that means is that someone in your immediate family will be affected. That might be a child who has autism, it might be an adult who has schizophrenia, or an adult who has serious depression. We are where we were in cancer in 1970. We are where we were in heart disease in 1950 in terms of brain disorder. We can do a little bit, but we can do far too little for far too many people. We know that we need to solve these problems, and we know that they all come from the brain. You can have other interests and be a scientist. It's just that science is a deep passion that, that you don't want to leave behind you when you leave the lab. You want to keep thinking about it when you come home, if there's something exciting or disturbing that, is, is, that you want to understand.